is to pick up and talk about the Congress's own regiment, which actually went through about three or four different names through its lifetime. As this uncommon regiment, it was first formed actually in January of 1776, authorized by the Continental Congress for Moses Hazen as the Colonel and Lieutenant Colonel Edward Antill as the second in command. And it was commissioned as the second Canadian regiment. So it brings us up to this point about why a Canadian regiment. And I asked students at time, did you know that Canada was involved? Well, yeah, there was an invasion. The Americans lost. They had to retreat from Quebec. You know, by June of 76, they're gone, and that was the end of Canada. Well, no, not really. Not by any means in here. But while the American invading force was up in Canada, it was already starting to recruit Canadians to join in this rebellion. Certainly, the Continental Congress was sending out declarations to the Canadians, especially the French Canadians, essentially saying, come join us, rebel with us, you know, and you might think it goes back to the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And so the French Canadians at one point had been certainly the enemies of most of the New Englanders and others who had been fighting colonial wars with the French and their Indian allies through a series of imperial conflicts. But at this point, it was, let's invite the Canadians in because we truly want this to be a continental rebellion. Let us have a true continental Congress with Canadian representatives. Let us have a continental army, which includes Canadians as well, as we invite others to join us in what was first, of course, a rebellion, a defense of the rights of Americans or these continental provinci provincials in the early part, and then after July of 76, ultimately a revolution for the independence of the country itself. 